Have you ever noticed little spots or shapes drifting in your vision? You might have noticed that, especially when you were looking at a plain, bright background. These are known as eye floaters, a common visual phenomenon that people experience as they age. Hello and welcome back to Dr. Solar channel. I am Dr. Fatima and in today's video, we are going to talk about eye floaters and what can we do about them. So stay with me until the end of this video and let's go. Eye floaters are small drifting shapes in your vision. They are often described as spots, cobwebs, or shadows. But why these floaters appear in our vision? Inside your eyes, there is a gel-like substance called the vitreous humor. When you're young, it's like clear jelly, but as you start to get older, it becomes a bit liquid-like. Tiny bits of this jelly clump together, and these clumps cast shadows that you see in your vision. Most of the time, floaters are just a normal part of getting older. By the age of 60, many people start noticing them. And if you're nearsighted, you might even start noticing them earlier because your eye shape causes the vitreous to change quicker. Sometimes other eye issues can cause floaters as well. And this includes inflammation inside the eye, eye injuries, or certain eye surgeries. Also, if you have conditions like diabetes, it can affect your eyes and cause floaters. Now, most of the time, floaters are harmless, but sometimes they can be indicative of a more serious condition. A sudden increase in floaters, especially if accompanied by flashes of light or vision changes, can signal a retinal tear or detachment. This is an emergency and requires immediate medical attention. All right, now that we know what floaters are and what causes them, let's talk about the treatment options. Well, in most cases, floaters are not severe enough to require treatment. Many people adapt to them over time, and they either settle out of the line of sight due to gravity or become less noticeable. Now, if your condition is severe enough, another option is vitrectomy. Vitrectomy is a surgical approach in which the surgeon removes the vitreous gel from your eye along with the floaters. However, this option is only recommended for very severe cases because it has the risk of complications. A newer treatment option is laser vitreolysis. In this method, your doctor uses a laser to break up the floaters. It's less invasive than a vitrectomy and has a lower risk of complications, but still it's not suitable for everybody. Now, the interesting part of this video. We're gonna talk about two studies which offer natural treatments for floaters. Have you ever heard of treating eye floaters with fruits? Well, some recent studies showed promising results. Now, the first study had 388 patients who had eye floaters. These participants ate pineapples every day for three months. The cool part? Many of them noticed that their floaters were getting less noticeable. Pineapple, especially its core, is rich in an enzyme called bromelain. Bromelain can act as a natural cleaner, and it's thought to help break down the protein strands that clump together and cause floaters. And that makes pineapple not just a tasty fruit, but potentially beneficial for eye health. Now, the next study worked on a combination of enzymes from different fruits. Bromelain from pineapple, papain from papaya, and ficin from figs. Just like bromelain, papain, and ficin are thought to break down proteins. This study tried to compare different doses of these natural enzymes, and they found that taking these enzymes in higher doses can reduce the floaters more effectively. And this method was especially more effective for the patients that their floaters were caused by a bleeding in their eyes. 
The idea behind both of these studies is that these enzymes might help dissolve the tiny protein clumps that cause floaters. And that's almost like how certain enzymes in laundry detergent break down stains. So, should you try it or not? Well, of course, these studies are quite fascinating and open up a new way to treating floaters. But it's like trying a new recipe. What works for somebody might not work for the others. Plus, these are only early studies, so more research is needed to be sure. So, if you're thinking about trying this new fruity approach, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor first. And that's especially important if you have conditions like diabetes, because these fruits are pretty sweet. And that was it. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please write to me in the comments what do you like to be the title for the next video. Until the next one, bye!